Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday plan with me. So for this week I'm using a kit from Paper Chic Plans and I did purchase this double box separately. I've been holding onto this kit for so many months now, waiting to use it for this particular week as it's my mum's birthday and she's obsessed with bees so I definitely wanted to use a bee themed kit and I also had another one from the Glam Planner but I chose this one because I just think it's a bit more pretty and you guys know that Paper Sheet Plans is one of my favourite shops on Etsy. So I'm going to start with the washi along the bottom, I'm just going to leave a gap and trim whatever's left with my scissors. I'm taking the leftover washi and taking my craft knife and just trimming this down and then I'm going to put this under the dates at the top. I've done this a few times now in my planner and I really like the way it looks especially if I haven't got any date covers and I want to pull some of the washi colours and the washi pattern to the top half of my planner. Paper Chic Plans always has glitter headers with her kit and there are 16 glitter headers which means there's enough for two on each day so I'm just going to alternate the colours at the top. I started by putting a piece of the plain washi down with a Plan With Me Monday sticker which is from Planning Roses. I then took a little page flag and wrote down to upload this plan with me. I've got some orders that I need to pack as well so I just took a half box with a little social poppet with the Etsy symbol and wrote down to pack orders. I put down a cutting machine which is from Planning Roses as well as I need to do some printing and cutting too on Monday morning. To block off some time I just put down my full box, I then put a little happy pop it down as I need to go out and post some orders on Monday. I used a glitter header to section off for my little things and I've got a TV program on which is RuPaul and I also need to place an order for some more sticker paper for my shop. So moving on to Tuesday I need to do a food shop so I took a food shop poppet and then I put down another social poppet with the YouTube symbol as I'm going to be uploading my monthly plan with me on Tuesday. I have a build you on Tuesday so I use a build you sticker which I think is from Handmade Hayward. I was going to use one of my poppets holding the bills but I just felt it was a little too many poppets in one area so I took it off. Underneath I put two pieces of washi down and a half box that I flipped up onto its side because I've been working on a little secret project that you guys will find out what it is on Friday. So to block off time again I use another full box and then another glitter header to section off my little things. I have a TV program on which is Gilmore Girls. For Wednesday it's my dad's birthday so I used a fancy half box and wrote down dad birthday with a little birthday poppet from the birthday part 2 sheet. Underneath there I need to take some Instagram pictures so I just use a quarter box with a little camera icon from the kit. Put my full box down and then a half box because I want to do some more designing on the little project that I've been doing and I use a little computer from the computer poppet sheet. I've got some housework that I need to catch up on so I put a little home life poppet down and wrote down housework. For my little things I've got two TV programs on and I'm due some happy mail. I often watch Gilmore Girls when I'm designing, I like to watch that or RuPaul or something that I can watch in the background while I'm designing. Flipping it over I just put the glitter headers down. And then I completely messed up here because I forgot there was a double box already in the kit before I purchased the separate double box. So I'm just deciding where to put everything because really I should have put the double box that was in with the kit the first half of the week. But you know, never mind. I decided to put it up at the top here anyway. So carrying on on Thursday I put some washi down and just wrote that I need to go pram shopping with my sister because she is due in June and it's a good time to show you my new poppets that came out. I've got some pregnancy poppets and also some baby poppets. So I put down a little baby poppet which are so cute, they look so adorable and then I put a social poppet down as I need to do a bit of a shop inventory take, I need to go through everything and make sure everything is up to date and in stock. 
I put a half box down as I want to hopefully start designing some kits. It's been a while since I released kits in my shop so I'm going to be designing those hopefully by the end of the week. For my little things I want to paint my nails, I have a TV program on and I also need to take some of the kind of secret project that I've been working on pictures. I know it's super annoying when people say oh it's a secret project and I can't say anything but I can't just write something down in my planner and then you guys will be like well what what is that that you're writing? <laughs> So for Friday it's my mum's birthday so I put down another fancy half box and a little poppet from the poppet part 2 birthday sheet again. And then this is the day that um, my little project that I've been working on is released into my shop so you guys will see that so make sure you follow me on Instagram it's ljs underscore plans because you will see what it all is then. I want to film the plan with me for next week so I put a piece of pattern washi down and a planner from Planning Roses and then I moved on to my little things. I've got a TV program on, actually I've got two TV programs on and I also need to order some printer ink. And then moving on to the weekend I wanted to get the double box down first so I just placed her down and I decided to trim it down as it was a little bit too big for my boxes. It was only like the smallest piece that I had to cut off but I just used my craft knife and a ruler and just trimmed it down to size. I put two glitter headers down and moved on to my weekend banner. And then for Saturday I've obviously got some housework to do so I used another poppet from the home life sheet. I've also got lots of laundry to do. I'm really behind in laundry. For some reason it's all of a sudden piled up so I definitely need to catch up with that. And then I just put my usual pop-it checklist down. I put a computer down and wrote to edit the plan with me that I would have filmed on Friday. And then on Sunday I wanted to go and visit my mum and dad, especially as it's their birthday and they are going off to Italy next week so I want to see them before they go. Flipping it over to the sidebar, I had a little bit of an idea that I wanted to try out, so I just used some Tipex to get rid of the writing at the top. I used a full box and then I took the large girl that's on the deco sheet and I stuck her on top of the full box. Because she was so big and I really wanted to use her because I just love the girl in this kit, I definitely wanted to include her and I knew I wouldn't be able to fit her anywhere but up the top here. I used another piece of the matching washi just to pull that together and then underneath I used some of the leftover washi to cover up the note section. I took the large planner that also comes with the kit because I knew I wouldn't fit that up at the top either and then underneath there I just put a habit tracker and a this week section. My this week section is just to track homework and revision for my children and then I put a next week section at the bottom. Moving on to the deco I just placed it all up at the top and yes I did use every single piece. Whenever I have tool deco I like to put it along the check boxes whether they're in my spread or in my sidebar I just think that they look really pretty. And then as we were coming towards the end, this large piece of deco, I really didn't have anywhere to put it, but I couldn't not use one piece of deco because that's just crazy. So I had to stick that on top of a full box and then trim down any stickers that were overhanging. And here's everything that I've got left. I'm so happy that I saved this for my mum's birthday week. I really loved how it turned out and I've always been obsessed with the artwork in this kit. If you guys liked it make sure you give me a thumbs up, also if you're new don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss on any of my uploads. I hope you all have a really lovely week and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye guys!